Think back to the last time you went to your favorite lake, river, or ocean. As you were there, you may have noticed a slippery green slime growing on the surface of objects submerged in water. For example, on a rock or the leg of a dock. If you've seen this green slime, you are familiar with a biofilm. The formation of a biofilm begins when a bacteria floating in water attaches to a surface. Once it has attached, the microbe will multiply into hundreds, thousands, millions, billions, and even trillions of cells. Biofilms aren't just found in nature. They also exist in drinking water treatment plants, where they can pose serious challenges, especially when they grow on membranes, a common component of drinking water systems that filter out harmful contaminants. For one, biofilms are a problem because they provide an environment for pathogens to replicate, resulting in water that can be unsafe to drink. Biofilms also raise the economic and environmental costs of treating water. This is primarily due to the increased energy needed to push water more forcibly across clogged membranes. Currently, utilities control membrane biofouling by dosing chlorine and treating the water to a higher quality before it reaches the membranes. However, despite these measures, biofouling is still a common problem. Nanotechnology may offer a more effective way to control biofouling than these traditional methods. Nanotechnology's benefit lies in its ability to take an offensive and defensive approach to limiting biofouling, all without impairing the membrane's ability to generate safe, clean drinking water. The defensive approach involves changing the surface chemistry of membranes with nanomaterials, such as graphene oxide, so it is more difficult for bacteria to attach in the first place. The offensive approach takes the battle to the bacteria. Some materials, such as silver nanoparticles, are known to be biocidal, meaning they are deadly to bacteria and other microorganisms. The most promising approach to biofouling involves the use of both anti-adhesive and biocidal nanomaterials. However, challenges remain, particularly in respect to maintaining these properties over the life of a membrane. But even incremental improvements can make a meaningful difference on the cost, quality, and environmental implications of treating water.